the 2015 Football Big Ten Media Days wrapping up here in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Taylor Brooks standing alongside Laura Belanda for Daily Iowan TV Sports. Laura, what is one thing on day two here that really stood out to you today? Nebraska's new head coach Mick Riley was definitely the, co the topic of conversation today and the players couldn't say enough mm -hmm. about his not so traditional coaching style. Yells, it's like the nicest, you know, <laughs> it's hilarious, but uh, like I said, he's like the nicest person I've ever met. His yelling is like more of loud talking, it's like he doesn't, it's like he doesn't want to yell so he talks loud, you know, Coach Riley is that type of guy that's like, hi guys, how you doing, it's that, and then when he's mad, he's like, I told you to stop, oh my gosh. And Laura, another new coach coming into this Big Ten Conference, Jim Harbaugh, coming in from the 49ers. And can I just say, today he wasn't sporting his khaki pants. And with that, a new variety of professionalism that he is going to bring to this Michigan squad. Not striving to be creating any buzz, uh, just striving to coach the football team. Uh, Harbaugh's got a sense of professionalism about him where, uh, you know, he knows how he wants things executed and, and you you execute them that way. Now Minnesota is going to be traveling to Iowa City for the first time in two years for the Battle of Floyd the Pig, my favorite mm -hmm. trophy. Um, and we caught up with defensive end from Minnesota, Theron Cochran, who said Kinnick is one of his favorite places to play, but he doesn't quite understand the theory of the pink locker room. They think it's a distraction, but it's not a distraction for me. But it kind of makes me mad, so I take that angle over to the game. I know that crowd is going to be right on top of us. When you um, the way the stadium set up, when you go in, you sit on your bench, the crowd literally is right behind you. Kinnick always getting people, Laura, of course. Schedules are going to be different this year. People traveling to different places. Decision making happening, of course, like every single year. Mm -hmm. Northwestern, though, with a very, very big decision between three quarterbacks, three very capable quarterbacks between Matt Alvidi, Zach Oliver, and Clayton Thorsten. Every single one of them has more than potential to be in that starting game. All three guys have had a good summer from a leadership standpoint. Um, I think they're all in really good shape, and, and now we're going to roll the ball out and let it play. You know, it's interesting to say um, our offense is so versatile as it is that um, it really doesn't matter who's in the backfield. I, half the time I don't even notice who's playing quarterback, but, um, you know, they all bring something separate to the table. That is all for us here in Chicago, Illinois, but make sure to keep up with us as we will be in Iowa City on August 8th for Iowa Media Days. Once again, I'm Taylor Brooks. And I'm Laura Belanda with Daily Iowan TV Sports.